Don't we all like the brownish pieces of bittersweet goods that melt on our tongues like a state-of-the-art bowl of ice cream? Chocolate has the seducing power to blow the mind of the masses. Yet the bitter taste may soon outweigh the sweet one. The future of chocolate is in danger. A deadly disease, the Kokoswolenschut virus, is threatening cocoa trees. As one of the most serious problems in West Africa, Swolenschut has ravaged hundreds of millions of trees and caused huge economic losses among the farming population. Welcome to Ghana. My name is Christian. I have been doing some research on the Cocos Wollenschut virus disease and its interaction with the environment. I have looked at agroforestry systems and how those more diverse and probably healthier systems can also help to cope with this threat of the Cocos Wollenschut virus disease. I would like to demonstrate to you a, a new system and um, a new way of trying to deal with uh, this disease. Our results show that the severity of virus symptoms was lower and cocoa yield higher in agroforestry systems with around 50% shade. Agroforestry can be a coping strategy to balance virus severity and yield, but it cannot prevent the spread of the virus. We give every acre, we give about 10 to 15 trees. These are trees like guava, udum, mahogany, aki, ofram, and many more. The most important is uh, pruning. And the pruning, we don't prune only the cocoa. We prune also the shade trees because the cocoa needs also a bit of light. And we don't want to cut the trees down as people are doing here. The selective weeding we are doing, some of the trees, we leave it because we cut it from time to time so that it can grow again. We need it. We need the trees and the leaves to help the soil as a fertilizer, in a, let's say organic matter, in an organic way. So the tree can grow again the following year. You cut it, you leave it like that, it will grow again. That's why we do we, we normally do the selective weeding. But if we cut everything down, it cannot grow again. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> Sustainable production is on the agenda of many big players in the worldwide cocoa industry. Yet there are still many important questions left unanswered. What type of agroforestry systems work for different farmers in different places? How much shade do the novel varieties that were bred for full sun systems still tolerate? 
and perhaps most importantly, how long does it take until an agroforestry system catches up with the monoculture? And who pays the difference to the farmers? Only if those questions are resolved can we move forward in the struggle to organize value chains that are fair for everyone, humans, animals and nature.